Hi everyone, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty. And today I have a hook review. Or should I say probably a dissuasion? <laughs> um, you know when you order hooks in the mail and you get the package in the mail and you're like, maybe I should have double checked the sizing on that. Or maybe this listing didn't have a sizing. This is what happens. Okay, if you're new here, welcome. My channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. So I got these off Amazon. <laughs> I will link them below. Um, we'll see how these go on the review. I'm going to give them an honest review. I feel like I'm going to honestly hate them, but it's okay. These are just as important if you know what not to buy than if you want know what to buy. Um, I was like, well, that's different. I think that would be fun to try and review and see if they're good because they take up less space. Oh, check out my crochet hook review down below. I'm coming up on 20, my playlist. Um, <laughs> they're small. Let's just say that. So what I ended up grabbing was, and I'll take out the biggest one so you can see, this very interesting looking thing on, oof, that's hard. Okay, well, this is how big it is. Hello. Hello. Ooh, don't poke yourself in the eye. These are double-ended hooks, and each size, each side is a different size. So this is an eight and a ten. These are the biggest ones. Already right here, I'm seeing some issues. See the molding wasn't so great here. Molding not so great. See the plastic there? That's might be a problem. Are these connected? Is my next question. Let me look and see if these are connected or if they're separate. Hang tight. Gotta get bright over here. These appear to be from the shadow reflection one piece. Although, like seriously, don't quote me on that. Oops. Come on. There we go. Sorry. Snagged a new lot light at the restore. I'm super excited. Look at how awesome the flexible neck is. <laughs> Moving back to our hook review. <laughs> so this is the largest one. So there's an eight and a 10. Um, it's pretty light, but the grip is pretty stiff. So this one came with six different hooks. I'll show you the sizes here. So there was an eight and a 10. a nine and a 7.5. Okay, that size is kind of an oddity, a 7.5. I don't think I have a lot of any of those in my stash. So that's interesting. Then there's a five and a seven and a four and a six. And the smallest one is a two and a three. Yeah. Okay. So, is there a length different depending on the size? Let's look at that next. They're all about the same length, which makes me worry about this guy here. We're already kind of bendy. I think these would be shorter. I don't know. So they're all about the same size and they are, you know what? Let me turn this around so you guys can see these up close and I will try my bestest to work up a swatch with this. Okay, hold on, see you right back. Hi everyone. Okay, so we are continuing this dubious review 
I do be a sure do. These do be as hooks. Five hooks. They have two different sizes on each hook. Now, I did go back and check the Amazon listing. And these are currently, as of the filming of this video, $7.39 for this set. Now, I'm going to take the larger one here. I'm going to do a measurement. So these are, whoops, can't see that, a little shy of five and a half uh, inches. Let's take the tiny one and see if it's the same size. Two, three. It is. So that makes me think that this may bend, FYI. Um, when I went back and looked at the review on, uh, not the review, the listing for this, the, I was correct when I looked at the sizing. The size on there says one inch by one inch by one inch, which is clearly not true. As you can see here, you can see how wide the grip is. Shy of a half, shy of a half inch there. Yeah. They're not doing it for me. This is what they all look like. We're gonna now try crocheting with this. Hold on tight to your pants here. Let's see what yarn am I gonna use. Doobity doobity. Let's use this. Big twist value yarn. Just to be very easy on these hooks because I think they're gonna be a challenge. And this is a regular four weight yarn that's available at Joann's. It has a very nice pull tab. Hello. Wish all yarns had that. What is the recommended hook size on this? It is a five. I'm going to go up from that and I'm going to use a six just because. So we're going to take this orange one. The other guys can go over here for a little bit. And we're going to move that out of the way too. Okay. I should put the skein the other way so the thing is coming out at me. Doi. Let's get it together. Okay. So I'm gonna, oops. What did I just do? I don't know what I just did. So I'm gonna a little bit more. Okay. Wait, I need the 6.0 end, which is this end. So it's got an odd grip here where there is two grips on this side. Let's zoom in some more. There's a grip here, and there's a grip on this side, and there's nothing on this side. Which means, I guess the most comfortable way is to put your thumb on this longer one. I guess. Zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. There we go. All right. Oops. Let me grab another six. I feel like this is small. Let's grab a standard six. Six millimeter. That is not a six millimeter hook. Can you see the difference in that? What is the deal here? It says four and six. This is a six millimeter clover. I mean, that's a 7.5, that's closer, but not it. What is this? This is a nine. No way that's a nine. I have a nine back here. 
No. Hang tight. I'm looking to see if I have a nine behind me in my hook stash here. No, no. What size is that? No. What is that? No. How about this one? This is an eight. <laughs> Where's the eight? Nine, seven point five. No way, not even close. What kind of measurement are they using here? Centimeters? That's that's not even close. That's not even in the ballpark. Okay. Review over. Do not buy these hooks. They are not the right measurement. I wish I had electronic calipers so bad right now. I knew this was the wrong size as soon as I started doing this because look at that chain. Let's do a comparison chain right here. Okay, with my clover, and let's see if there's a size difference. Holy monkeys, that's a size difference, look. Look at how much bigger my clover chain is. Look at that. That's not even a little bit different. That's a lot different. Look at how much bigger that clover chain is. Do not buy these. These are going to be returned. They are not the right size. As in, they're not the right size, not for my hand. The measurement is completely wackadoodle wrong. These are useless. I will link them down below. Please, God, don't buy these. You can feel free to click on my link and buy some other hooks. <laughs> but not these ones. Boop. No. Fail bolt, fail bolt, fail bolt. These are horrible. These are unfunctional. These are not usable. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this blatantly honest, totally truthful crochet hook review. Check out my other crochet hook reviews down below on my playlist. And everybody have a creative day and avoid buying these. Okay. Bye-bye.